Stormblood. 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 There's fire. <laughs> A storm of fire. Now the call of war is upon us, Zero. <laughs> There um, will be a storm of blood. Everyone, this is a different kind of video. Uh, I'm planning on to start a campaign with uh, Danger 2, who's here with me. Woo, I'm here. And Billy and a few other people. Maybe. Um, in Final Fantasy... Uh, I almost said 15. <laughs> Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> I technically already have this for PC, but I didn't have the latest expansion. So I got it when I was on sale, so... Yeah, it was actually crazy good on sale over the new year there, where it was like 40 Let's bucks see. for like the entire thing. You get two expansions yeah. and the main base game. Uh, let's see. Display settings. Okay. You know, I'll mess around with this stuff later. Yeah. Let's just start, because I'm going to create my character. So All what? All right. So server? if I remember correctly, we're on... Altros is on... Is it on Primal? Yes, it's on Primal. It's on Primal? Yeah. Okay, so Primal... Uh, so we hit confirm. Does it actually tell you if Ultros is there? Yeah, it's at the very bottom. See oh, how okay. it's highlighted? See the North American server? Yes. See, uh, normally I would suggest that since we're on the East Coast, uh, mm. we would go to the Aether Data Center because it used to be on the East Coast. Oh, but okay. last year they moved it mm. uh, before Stormblood came out, and now it doesn't matter. You sh you're, it's always a West Coast server. Yeah. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Also, please enjoy David Lodge, Jiraiya, <laughs> as Louis Swa, telling us how the, the world began. Great continents. <laughs> there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Forged Name, by heroes. Eorzea. The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. Ah, oh, shit. Is there an exploding... So, son? so I actually I think he's actually going to explain it. Most recent astral era. The Northern Empire of Gollumall amassed a great army at the heart, uh. seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance. The force Is that fucking the Magitech armor? Yep. They're using? The Garleans can't use magic Yet like the people of Eorzea. So they the created technology, or technically in this case, they adapted uh, old technology mm -hmm. to wield like, extraordinary power. The elder Prime Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. Damn. Yeah. In all intents and purposes, back in the 1.0 era, they summoned Bahamut to destroy that atrocity of a game, and they rebuild it into what it is today. The second grossing, if not almost the most played MMO uh, in the current year. Yeah, because like... Um like eleven Five was incredibly popular. Oh yeah, and fourteen had that whole problem with the original version, um, and now it's like completely one eighty. Oh yeah, it, like the and it, it's all thanks to one dude, Naoki yeah. Yoshida, but which a lot of the the community calls Yoshi P because he used to be a producer for fourteen, mm -hmm. but then he actually took up directing and producing. He he pretty much single handedly got Square to like finance him. And say, don't worry, we'll make this fucking good. And he made it fucking good. Yeah. There's quite a few, there's quite a few, like, good YouTube videos that I can show you. This sort of, like, the rise and fall of, um, of 14 and stuff like that. I'm sure there's, like, a, a documentary type awesome. video or something like that. Yeah, and I think there was another one that, like, I think it was, like, Wired or something did a little piece on it. It was really, really fucking yeah. good. If you're ever interested. Well, I'll probably look into it, because mm -hmm. I have been interested, because I remember, like, didn't you play the original? Yes, I played you the original and 14. and Sincat and a bunch of other people played it, and I was hearing, like, I was hearing, like, you guys were like, it's, it's alright, 
but I was hearing from like other people be like, this is like the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, I, I really wanted like, this is the thing. Like when I first played 1.0, I, I thought, all right, this is really difficult to understand, but so was 11, right? And you play, I played 11 for so long that you just sort of accepted a lot of mm -hmm. like shitty things that 11 did on top of it. And then they added new things. And then I realized that as I got to probably about level 30 or 40, this isn't getting less complicated. It's getting more complicated and convoluted mm -hmm. in a sense. And I stopped playing after I think 1.1 came out. And that was just before Yoshi P took over. I think he took over in 1.13 version, the version of it. Mm -hmm. And they did a bunch of quality of life changes, and they pretty much mm -hmm. improved the frame rate from 15 frames a second to 30 frames, which, you know, we say shit like that, and it may not matter to some people, but yeah. holy crap, when the game actually fucking runs. But apparently, like, this uh, this version of the game, the PS4, I don't have a PS4 Pro, but apparently it runs really smooth. Like... Yeah, yeah. I, I played, for the first two years of A Realm Reborn, I played on my PS3. Okay. And then when the PS4 came out, they gave free upgrades to people on oh, PS3. Oh, okay, right. So I upgraded to PS4, but then I built a PC, and I was mm -hmm. like, well, I'll play on PC. But I'm still a controller player because I pretty yeah. much played and grew up with this game with a controller in my hand. Yeah. Um, and right. I, I, even, like, I was, like, playing most of the time on PC with my an Xbox 360 controller, so I just find that more comfortable. So, mm -hmm. anyways... I wanted to pick a what are they called the the f the from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance the the cla the one oh, class oh of the, the era the era but I guess that's not no, a thing they're not in the game and like they've been sort of hinting at it that mm -hmm. the Viera would be a new race eventually mm -hmm. and also we are now venturing into Eorzea's version of Dalmasca mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so. They are really trying hard to be like, no, we don't have bunny people, but there's probably going to be bunny people yeah. really soon. I'm going to pick... This is the next closest thing, though. So I think You're going to be a Makote I think, girl? I, I think I did that last time, I think too. Yeah, I think so. You you but, tried um, you tried as a Makote. So how do I... Can I change the stuff? Oh, yeah. No, this is just... Cha like you're checking right. your gender and your race. So basically, this is just a setup for everybody else, because I'm probably going to do um, streams of this. Oh, yeah. With, uh, with you guys, so... Uh, so here's the side. So the 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 pretty much the diversity in this game comes from the fact that each race has two sub races. They yeah. they they have different ideologies. Like for example, the I'm over generalizing this, but the keepers of the moon they worship the moon. They they're mm -hmm. nocturnal type cats that yeah. believe that the the world was created under the the guise of the moon, whereas in the seekers believe that it was created under the sun. I think I did seekers on PC, so I'm gonna try keepers. Yeah, the keepers' eyes are are circles, while mm -hmm. the sun ones are the cat slit. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you know That's night right. vision they're dark, so their eyes yeah. are circles like cats. So okay, I'm okay with the height. It's fine. Uh, let's. <laughs> <laughs> bus oh, size. Yeah. Oh, obviously. Oh, man. There's no bulge size. And one thing that people still complain to from this day there is back go. in 1.0, back in 1.0, in the original 14, there was a butt slider. You could you could change, you could, you could have a nice, thick butt in that game. But for some reason, they took it out of 2.0. So now everyone's flat. They're flat in the back. They can be busted in the front, but that. they can bust it in the front, but uh, let's, in the back. Oh, you can choose the little, the thing on how your tail goes. Yeah. Ooh. So see how the the little That's red cool. thing means that just say you have highlights, mm -hmm. uh, it will be that highlight. Oh, okay. I like this one. That's you like cool. you're a fuzzy tail type of guy. Fuzzy tail. I'm a lion tail girl. I'm actually. I was thinking when I was because I was going to create a character to level up with you and uh, All right. and the others. Now the best part, the hairstyle. Oh man, there's so this. many hairstyles now. When we first started off, there was not very many. Holy fuck, there is a lot. Yeah, and, and yeah, there's, there's even farther down. Yeah, holy shit. There's a whole bunch here. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like I'm one of the ones in Monster Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it reminds me of. I call that the Bayonetta hair. If you dye it, if you turn the color to black, yeah, it looks like Bayonetta hair. I saw a character in one of the videos that um, 
what's his name did one of the Mr. Face videos. Yeah. Um, like that. That. That's pretty that's, cool. that's the mullet. That's what I like to it's refer to mullet. as the mullet. The Final Fantasy style mullet. Yeah. Oh God, Pompadour! Yeah, yeah the fucking Pompadour. Oh, fuck. And it has jiggle physics, by the way. The Pompadour has jiggle physics. Oh my God, physics. should I? It's Ooh. it's up to you. I don't want to just do a lame haircut or whatever. Like I could do generic anime. Anime. I, you'll see a lot of people with this haircut. Anime. A lot of people Final like Fantasy it. 15. Yeah. You got the Zell haircut going on. I re um, I actually quite like the the, the curls. The curls are tempting. Oh yeah, the, the drills. Curls, yeah, the drills. The drills. Um, let's see. Uh, there's just the crazy like long hair. Yeah. So depending upon your on your race, the top hairstyles, the ones at the very top, uh, they'll be exclusive to that race. Oh okay. Yeah. So like all these these ones right here, these at least yeah. those three, probably four. They're all exclusive to Makote. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're Seeker or Sun, they're exclusive. So just say you picked Does Ellison mean? instead, I wouldn't have, I couldn't choose those hairstyles. Actually, I think I'm going to go for the long hair. You're going to go for the long hair? Yeah. Do you want it with, like, long hair, just, just regular long hair with the band? There's one with the band? Yeah, you have, that one has a band, actually. Like, if you actually go up and you actually see she, she has a band Oh, okay. On, if you change the color, it will stay black. It will stay white, so you'll see it. Oh, okay. So the band will stay white. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I want this one or do I want the other one? Where's the other one? It was. Wait, I'm going way too high. Where was it? Wasn't this one? It was. Fuck! Now I can't find it. <laughs> Is it down one? Go, go to the the. the third row in, in the very back oh, okay you've kind of moved it it'd be the first row the one in the very end the very end yeah the first row very end is it this one no oh, wasn't that one wasn't that one maybe it was this one I yeah that was the one that you're originally on okay well, maybe i'll do that one to do that one okay all right no pompadour for this one no um, pompadour all right I don't know if I should change it. I kind of like white. Do you, well, it's, this is sort of pinky white. Like your television is is sort of yeah, is sort of bright. It's got dynamic color. I on could right do. Now. Oh, I like that blue. You like a light a light blue? I like that. I like that blue. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Pink. <laughs> yeah, you can go pink. <laughs> nah, not really. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do that. And you you've got a very light complexion too. It seems you've decided. Yeah, I like the blue. I think the blue. The, I like Not it. too Looks dark. Uh, that or that. That one seems seems right. Yeah, you know, too light. Too light doesn't seem like. I, as I'm about to say, it doesn't seem too natural. You know, because blue hair is natural. Face, let's see. So each one of these, like as you mm -hmm. select them, the things like jaws, the eye shapes, and and other things sort of change. Yeah. So. You pick sort of like a general face, and then then you modify it from there. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Right. Uh, so now you're on uh, jaw. Jaw. Okay. So you can zoom in farther if you hold down. I think it's R one, R one, and then you move the control stick. R1. In. It's either R one or L one. I'm hitting both those, and they're not doing. Oh anything. no! You, but you have to use the control stick. You have to oh. hold it down and use the control stick. Okay. okay. Should be able to really get in our face, so you can actually see the difference. It's one of those things where I'm like, I if I had the controller, I'd just be able to do it. So here, you can give it to me for a sec. Oh yeah, you get to change the. Oh, I forgot about that. You can do that. I'm gonna yeah. go back into this though. Yeah, because it's okay. got the best light. Okay, because I'm holding L1, and that's all it. Does. Uh, rotate background zoom is. L1 oh, plus the right, right stick. Right, right, right. There, holy crap! We got really close to her face. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's see. That's type one. Type two. I can't really see a difference. Uh, it's actually usually in the profile. So see how she has got chubby cheeks with yeah. four. Um, I would say like one, her cheeks are relatively flat. Two, the upper cheekbones sort of limp up more. So if you actually like turn her, you'll actually see like actually, her cheeks pop up. That first bit's good. Hey, yeah, you like chubby cheeks? I shape. I right. shape. Let's see. Um. 
Uh, it's a lot of freaking customization options. Mm -hmm. The one thing about 14 is it you can't necessarily make a really, really ugly character. They all are always very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so eye color. I'm going to give her like a uh, a light green eye. A light green eye? Light green eyes. There we go. And what's the story? This There's is eyebrows. the eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't... How scowly do you want her to be? <laughs> the four is pretty nice. <laughs> Four's pretty good, yeah. Four's pretty Four's nice. good. Okay with that. And nose, alright. This one you'll definitely want more of a profile shot, because you can't really see. Yeah. Or like a... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. There, that's that's good. Type Number four. four? Alright. Mouth, alright. The This is the one that I always found that was sort of like, alright, so you got your regular lips, then you've got like almost like yeah, these big reverse thick pucker, lips. then super thick, and then a pucker face. Like that's the only one that I was always like, oh, I wish they gave us more options for that mm, because. Four. Uh oh, you can choose the lip color. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. So you can give her some lipstick. It could either be light or dark. You can barely tell though. Well, you don't see it because you have it selected as none right now. Oh okay. So you have to go up and then select either light or dark. Oh, okay. The light one's like... It sort of gives like a little bit of a gloss to it, so it doesn't overpower it a lot of the time. Straight up black lips or white ones. <laughs> Actually, that kind of... I kind of like that. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, ear cast. So I should probably move the... Oh, whoops. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah, the, these are really sort of just aesthetic. Um, I don't really... I don't put them in usually because you get earrings later on, and they oh, just sort okay. of go over the earrings. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, then that's fine for now. Um, you don't have to select them. And that's just the color of the ear class. You can just go down and hit okay. You don't need to change anything because you don't have ear class pin. Yeah. All right, facial features. So let's move down a little bit. Oh, that's not what I meant. Down. There we go. Let's move around. So you can't really see that with her hair. Now you got a scar yeah, across scar. her What's this? A that's a band-aid, yeah. Band-aid. So you can get a little cheek scar and then you can put a band-aid on it if you wanted. Or you could get uh, uh. a beauty mark. I would do that, but you can barely see it. Yeah. Don't really need her to have the squall scar. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, like your 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 next <coughs> your your big thing is become a red mage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh my God! You can get the Zell tattoos. Oh yeah, no, yeah. There's a Zell tattoo. Oh my tattoo. God! That's terrible. <laughs> Why would anybody you do get some that? Cheek stars, you know. You get the little. So li that one beside I'm it is blush. For some football. Yeah, that's actual blush. That's so just you blush, can. Yeah. And then I. You can do like eyeshadow and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a big partial to the the smoky side eye, uh, personally. So like, yeah, like that one, and then either choose black or something that complements the colors. I I have a, a Makote uh, girl ready to to party with you guys. All set. I just need to make her. I don't see the big difference here. Oh, okay, I see it a little bit. Yeah, That's when when good. she blinks, right? That's why I'm like uh, the yeah. smoky side eye is just it's just nice. I've always liked right, it. So let's see. I'll probably want to do a dark color. Something... Let's go a little... Let's go a little, go a little purple. Oh yeah, go a little purple. That looks good. Yeah. Alright, so, voice. Yeah, so... So you can select... Like, you select their voice, she I'm makes a noise. If you move left and right with the control pad, you can be, like, angry, cheer, happy, nod, and acceptance and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's too Japanese for me. 
Okay, no, too much. <laughs> no! God, I got some mischievous voices. Some of them, some of them, I will warn you, is they sound okay uh, in, in this, um, like, thing right now. However, the most you hear of your character's voice is usually when they do volleys and stuff. So, like, if they're swinging an axe or they're attacking something, like a creature or whatever, you'll hear them constantly do it. And one of the Makote girl ones is they go, she goes, woo, woo every single time she shoots an arrow. It's so annoying. Yippee! <laughs> yeah. Riveting like gameplay. I kind of like for <laughs> riveting gameplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, like the four. default one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boy. That's it. You have oh, created your your lady. All right. All right. Now, let's save the appearance. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh I, my god! I get a lot of slots. Oh, you get a lot of slots. Like uh, glamour, glamour, and looks are very important in this game. So, I don't what know. I usually put for the comment, like, uh, like for example, Ray Silverlock is my coral character. I would put Ray Silverlock, like his name, in, so I always know which one that is. Because I, I have like you should see my save slots. It's, it's kind of scary. I make a lot of characters. I don't, I don't play as them. I just, I like character creators. First, I haven't decided my character's name. First so. cat. Cat. <laughs> Zero's first cat. First cat. And then, uh, I guess. I didn't even capitalize cat, you motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> well, let me go down. Oh, because you're still in it. Oh. You have to press, yeah, oh, get sorry, out of okay. it there. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? What, yeah, what did just, you do? just saved the data. You just saved the data. Okay. Yeah. Names day. Yeah. All right. So this is pretty much your birthday. The Eurasian okay. calendar is a little bit different. Uh, they have a different moon cycle than our Earth. Okay. Um, but you can pretty much choose your own birthday, well, another birth that, birthday that you H like. How do I know I pick my... Uh... Uh, so pretty much, they're still 12. They're still 12. January, so February, you just... March, April, May, yeah. June, July. The fourth boom. astral moon. And then see how it says 7-1? Yeah. So there, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's my birthday. There you go. All right, so so this is this is your your sort of birth sign. So okay. it's sort of what your affinity is. Okay. It doesn't play a, a big factor in gameplay. It used to back in 1.0, but yeah. then they scrapped it because it was really really annoying. Mm -hmm. Um. So pretty much it's just whatever lore thing that you like, or like color. <laughs> Do you want a female god, or do you want a male god? Do you want one that's, like, all about I fucking war? I have no war? idea. Do you want one that's about peace? Like Lim Lane, Oshkan, Baragat, Rolger, Azima. Um, yeah, Nodthal, that's two gods in one. Oh, is this, like, the fuck- choosing your fucking, like- uh, it's like a astrological zodiac. sign. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like choosing yeah. your, your zodiac sign. So like, so if you want it to be like accurate, accurate, you would count seven, and that would actually be okay, yours. So one, two. Yeah. So, Thaliac is mine. <laughs> actually, is that how the zodiac works? No, it's not how the zodiac works. It's got a weird system. Now I like this one though. I think I've decided. All right, your bear got. All right. So, uh, well, how do I get? To Red Mage, because I know I can't okay. do it until level 60. So, I need to know what yeah. class I start So with. Red Mage and Samurai, which are the new classes of mm -hmm. Stormblood, they oh. unlock at level 50. So as soon as you hit level 50, you can start their quest. Okay, so but what pre-class do I have to you do? You don't need any pre-class for them. However, oh. I would suggest if you're going Red Mage to choose a caster. Because casting is what you will be doing as a red mage. You do mm. have melee attacks, yeah. but it's it's very limited in comparison to actual casting magic. So a thaumaturge, a conjurer, or an arcanist is most likely your best thing. So conjurer kills upon the element force presented in nature. <coughs> yeah. So conjurer easy. That's healer. That goes into white mage. Okay. Thaumaturge goes into Black Mage, mm -hmm. and Arcanist goes into two classes. It either goes into Summoner or Scholar. Scholar is a healer, mm -hmm. Summoner is, well, it's an attacker. Okay. 
So, let's see. If I were to choose one that it's most similar to, I'd probably say Thaumaturge. Black Mage will get, you'll understand what you need to do as a Black Mage. But you said this one's like a mix of like Summoner and... Yeah, uh, it can become a Summoner or a, or a Scholar. Okay. So the, the cool thing about them is they're sort of like the Oracle class, yeah. is they deal in status ailments, so the idea okay. is you keep a bunch of debuffs on the enemy, and that does yeah. the damage for you. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm going to go with that, I All think. Right. Goodness. Uh, you have selected Behemoth as your starting world. No, uh, select no. another. Select another. And okay. you're going to go to Ultros, which is down Ultros. One. Yes. Is it okay? All right. So I got to choose the first and last names. Yeah. Oh, oops. Return. Okay. So, hmm, that's the part I'm not sure of. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. You know what? I have an idea. You got an idea? I have an idea. So, l lore wise, Makote names, or at least um, Mo Seekers of the Moon names, they're very rough sounding. They're very earthly and, and like. It's they you sort of use the elements as their main focus for their naming conventions. Uh, I have my lore book here, I think. I think I brought it because uh, I like reading it on the bus, but Oh, you have a book? I have I a book. Gonna... I have a like they don't it doesn't have names, it just tells you the t how they I was just names. actually gonna look up a Makote translator and see if there's like a like a cool one. Like a cool one or something like that. Yeah, why not? Cody naming Okay, here we go. Yeah, naming conventions. Okay. Here's the sun, okay. And I found a wiki page yeah. about this. Um, the the Seekers of the Sun, just uh, just while he's looking up a name, I have probably some of the most interesting um, like naming conventions, especially the Seekers of the Sun. Not not the the moon per se, but the Sun really believe in sort of a a lion's pack, like a, a traditional tribe. So in uh, in their tribes. They have what they call a nun. A nun, he's pretty much, he's Playboy Central. He is the the head male that leads the entire tribe. Right? So, any males that are born under him become Tias. But they're not allowed to breed. Only the nun is allowed to breed. And then all the females, usually, they take up the first letter of that nun's first name. So, just say his name was Kira. So, that was the Kira tribe. So, uh, like a a character would be called Kaya, but it would be K apostrophe Aya. So her name would be Aya, but she has to have the prefix of the tribe in front. Hold on. Um, let's see. So they're they're pretty much the best way to describe it, a giant orgy party. That is that's how they 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 go around. And like I said, oversimplifying it, but that's one thing. Rogadins, I think, have the best naming convention because uh, Hellsguard, which are the they're big. They're these big wall wall guys, and they usually they lived up in the I think the mountains of Girabania and stuff like that for all the people that may be actually lore interested. And they pretty much live in volcano country, but they got pretty much their start with just sort of being barbaric and, and very very caveman-y. So they never really gave themselves names. They're usually like they work as a team. They're sort of like the Gorons, in a sense, if I if I were to to compare them to something other in video games. So the when they come down to Eorzea, to the city-states and all that, they usually take on something like uh, females take on flower names plus an adjective, while males usually take on earthly type of names. So you could have, like, for example, Mountain Dew is a lore-friendly Roganin name because of, how, of the nomenclature of how they do it. I think I may have found out what I wanted to do. All right. I found an Albed translator. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just to give it some Final Fantasy lore. So this is... That's Albed for Cat Girl. Cat Girl? Okay. Lidkin. Lid Lidkin. Lidkin. Yeah. So I guess the, the N in there is silent? Yeah. Or is the M silent? Like, is no, it Lidkin it's, it's, uh, or Lidkin? Lue, Lue de Kim, but I'm just going Lidkin. Okay. Lue de Kim. Lidkin. All right, so hit, 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 hit done, so done, and then you go over the surname. And then I want to go to, yes, I want to go to the surname. And I did actually find something about the Keepers of the Moon that I'm going to, oh, no, uh, that I'm going to use. Okay. So. 
and this would be a little just a little bit of a just a little bit of a um a little Easter egg. Isha? Uh, Isha? I think it's Yasha. Yasha? Alright. Yasha. Lid Kim Yasha. Ease. Lid Kim Yasha. So we'll call you Lid for short. <laughs> Lid or Lid. Ken. Or Ken. Dun 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 dun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ken music plays. Uh, except that's not Ken's song, so I don't know why I said that. That that's, works. That's Guile's theme, yeah. That dun 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 dun. Lid works, yeah, Lid, that works. Yeah. There you, you go. Your game with this character? Um, well, I don't know if I should actually begin the game. If I hit cancel, does that end the whole thing? Yeah, you'll have to redo this. Oh, okay. Uh, the only thing you'd have to really redo is, um, is the, like, the naming. Naming her and yeah. picking the, picking the world. That's right. Okay. There's nothing wrong with creating your character. It doesn't, okay. like, you'll be put into the game, and then next yeah. time you log in, you'll be in the same place. You might as well see the opening cutscene. Yeah, scene. might as well do the opening cutscene. Yeah. And everything. So since you chose Arcanist, you are starting in the city of Limsa Lamensa. Limsa Lamensa? Yeah. It's a port city. It's a port city. It's a port city. They live off on the island of Vilbrand, which originally wasn't part of Eorzea at all, so, but the alliance so sort of brought them into it's it. It's not a port of hope. It's not a port hope. No, it's not port hope. It's not a port hope. No. Okay. And see, the cool thing is, is it's run by a bunch of pirates. <laughs> oh shit! I can so, be a pirate. Yeah. So the it's that they're pretty much unified pirates. Uh, of course, I get the fucking pirate yeah. area. So uh, there's a lot of cutthroats and curs, as you can imagine. Cutthroats and curs. Yeah. Just, you know, just drop. Just normal Final Fantasy shit. Yeah. You know, just the yeah. Mother Crystal saying, "Hey, how's it Fa going, buddy?" Probably turn this down now that I'm not listening to the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's pretty cute. I think I did well. You did pretty well. I'm gonna have to get some armor and stuff. I guess it's too late for me to get the armor for um the Garo stuff, eh? That's all done. No, it's still up. It's still up? It's still up. Fuck, I want that Garo armor. Alright, the one thing I will state is you will have to get to at least level 30 before you can start PvPing to get that gear. That's fine. I mean, I'm gonna be playing this game a lot. Yeah. No, like. See, and the good thing about this game is every time you think that you're finished with shit, there is so much more shit yeah. to do. Oh yeah. You you picked up the game at a perfect time. So here you are in your summoner attire. Oh, do I get to so keep that shit? You get to you get it when you get to level fifty. Oh, oh, I don't get it now. Fuck. Nah, no, nah, they're just showing you how cool you can look. The summer. Well, it reminds me of the way the summoner looked in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, yeah. for example. Uh, Yoshi P and pretty much everybody in the 14 cast, they fucking love Ivelisse. They love the tactics. I love Ivelisse. So you're going to see a lot of nods to, to Ivelisse. And then you actually get to go to, like, Rabinaster and stuff later on. Mm -hmm. Oi! Y'all right, lass? <laughs> Eh? <laughs> That's perfect. The, New <laughs> the part New Zealander. You're a moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling on the ship. Got your stomach churning, has it? His name's Grizzled. <laughs> He's a grizzled man. He's a grizzled pilot. Hmm. Don't seem like the sea sickness. Now that I look at you, it'd be the Aether then, I reckon. The Aether? Yeah, the Aether. Some are more susceptible, uh, are sensitive to the stuff than others. Seeing and we ain't too far from Vilbron now, which is chock full of aetherites. What's, what's an aetherite? An aetherite. An aetherite is a place that you can teleport to. Oh, okay. It's a crystal. So th this is definitely yeah. different from the last time I played. Yes. They, they've they added a lot of extra lore to help you out. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Whoa! A little shaky there. 
That's kind of cool being on a ship and everything. Ugh. Might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ships leaping around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck. Get myself a breath of fresh air. I'm so Lamensa still a far ways off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Is this going to be like important questions about my character? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? They're not important. They are totally not important. Don't ever think for a second that they are very important characters. As you wink at me. <laughs> I did not wink. <laughs> There's no video proof. <laughs> Any road. And this is one thing I love. They never say anyway. They always say any road. Any road. Any road. Brennan's the name. And Pedlin's me trade. Pedlin. 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 That's Pedlin. This theme that's playing right now, A, it reminds me of Dark Cloud. Oh, God, Mr. Fucking... Face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Face, he's everywhere. But it reminds me of Dark Cloud, and this is the original Limsa Lamensa theme from 1.0. It's like one of the only times in the game that it plays. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love the little nods to this type of stuff. Tiny mini skirts. Tiny mini skirts! <laughs> ah, I smell a salty sea breeze. Now then, lass, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say that you're one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? If that's the way you want to put it. <laughs> You look, you look quite air conditioned in that. <laughs> I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventurings are risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Hmm, which, which, which is it, Zero? I don't know. Uh, to gain power. Maybe to win glory. To amass a fortune or ellipses. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Um. Ellipses. Ellipses. <laughs> Just I, sort of stand there and shake your head. I don't really know. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Brennan's a chatterbox, but he sure as hell ain't no busybody. We all have our secrets of three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stayed secret, too. Which is why I don't go stick in me nose where it ain't welcome. Do you get to see Brennan again, or is this it? Okay. No, nope, you see him again. Okay. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. And ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. All right, then. So, uh oh pro tip, don't, don't die. die. <laughs> People die when they are killed. Wow, wow. really? Oh, oh, no, it's as if being in pirate territory may have pirates in it. Ships on the starboard bow, pirate colors. Pirates, bloody hells. Hells? There's more than one hell? Oh, yes, there are. Have you no sense? Get below! <laughs> <coughs> Trust me, if you think this guy's accent is bad, wait until you meet the quest giver for the first area. His dialogue <laughs> has so many apostrophes in it <laughs> that even I, a guy that really likes doing, you know, Captain Barbosa mm -hmm. type of speaking, I'm like, please chill, dude. <laughs> What's the world coming to? Pirates. Firing on a ship, flying limson colors. Bastards either have a buttload of balls or bugger all for brains. <laughs> a boatload of balls. <laughs> a boatload of balls. <laughs> you can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of cannon range. And no buccaneers bark will catch this flight. What is this? Flighty? Temptress, once the wind takes her sails. Sorry, I shouldn't be picking characters, but you just do them all so well. <laughs> um, but yeah. You could be this guy. No, you, you, you've already uh, I, I it. guess we have already set the missile. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us keep keeping her head on her shoulders. I reckon I've lost mine otherwise. 
If them pirates gave us the chase, must be close to port. Let's head up onto the deck and have a look, shall we? All right, then. We shall. We shall. Let us head to Limsa Lamensa. By the by, is this your first trip to Limsa Lamensa? Yes. It is. Well, then, let this journeyed... What? An iterant. Tell you the ins and outs of our destination. <clears throat> Limsa Lamensa prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. Were too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civilizing influence, the city state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'd never guess they were once a rum swilling buccaneer herself, eh? <laughs> of course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, like them pirates who took fancy to us just now. And if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagan are raiding the coast, just as bold as you please. They're the sea-dwelling beastmen of the local call Fishbacks. In case you didn't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Sahagans. 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 The Sahagans. They, they're, they're pretty much mer people. Like they're, they're mer people. Yeah. So. They, so isn't Fishbacks a slur then? Oh yeah, yeah. People don't like beast tribes. They don't like the mm. beastmen. Uh, they're actually the things that summon the primals. So, the Sahagin, uh, I bet you could guess what their primal or their summon is. Leviathan? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> yeah. How did I- No, it's Odin. It's Odin, <laughs> yeah. Odin, actually, he, he resides in the Black Shroud. He's, he's what they refer to as an icon rather than a primal. Oh, wait, you know what? I have a question. Now that I've chosen, like, a summoner-esque path- like what kind of summons are there? So the three summons that you're allowed you're allowed to bring out in the original like in your original state are going to be they call them eggies. They're sort of manifestations of the primals. Okay. So you get Ifrit, you get mm -hmm. Garuda, which is wind, and mm -hmm. obviously Ifrit's fire, and then you get Titan. Titan is uh he's okay. He's ground. Do you later on does it like pull summons from like a bunch of different games like? Uh, uh, Unfortunately, the summoners, they don't pull the summons in the same traditional sense. Mm -hmm. um, they sort of channel their aether. So later on, as you level up your summoner, you actually start channeling Bahamut, who is the mm -hmm. who destroyed the world five mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. And you're able to go into what they call um, Dreadworm Trance. So okay. you're able to like have his aether fill, fill you up, and then you can use powerful attacks to mm -hmm. eventually grow into being able to summon Bahamut. Okay. So, yeah. like, is Knights of the Round one of the summons in this game or anything like that? Or see, I, I don't know how much. Do you really care about story sto story spoilers? Um, I might not, but people watching might. Uh, so I, if I, you can say it without spoiling a major plot point, uh, the the climax of Heaven Sword mm -hmm. will make you very happy if you like oh, Knights okay. of the Round. I let. Well, what about the? This might be stupid to ask right now because evil east thing is just happening well like what were they called the uh, todas or totems or whatever they were in final fantasy tactics oh Advance. yeah i, I don't think they, they don't call or... them totems they call them um, <coughs> uh they use aura sight shit i actually know the what they call are them. they are they is that an option for summoners too or like or no no okay. like you have to understand that this game is based on on very much attacks like this yeah. is a it's an action orientated mm -hmm. MMO. So you're yeah. you're doing a lot of movement, you're doing a lot of stuff. So the idea is your your summon, these three summons that you get. You're and you'll most likely be using Ifrit and Garuda the most, because mm -hmm. Titan's more of a he's a more situational eggy. Mm -hmm. The idea is you sort of control them like pets. So you sort of sick them onto creatures to get them off of you mm -hmm. and they go on the eggy and you heal them by using spells and then mm -hmm. you can use their special abilities to maybe ground enemies or add special effects that protect you in the party and stuff like that mm -hmm. the idea is like think of like an oracle and a summoner sort of put together 
but the summons are just a like they're just sort of like an addition. It's sort of like a Beastmaster sort oh, of race okay. where you know how they have they have a little like Valken and their Valken it has aided abilities. It's very similar to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. not the traditional summoner as in well, you just like fucking rain down <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Well, we'll get, we'll get into more of that as we go on, but I yeah. uh, just figured I'd ask that question. Since oh, yeah, no, it's it. it's hard to describe it. Like, once you start playing the game, you'll understand what it yeah. is, because your first summon will be Carbuncle, Yeah. and you'll be using Carbuncles for your first 30 levels. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Carbuncle's like healing magic, so am I only yeah, going to be using healing magic for the first no, bit? Well, no, they have their own attacks. Like, they, they're, they actually usually are reflective. Usually, Carbuncles okay. use Reflect. Where these guys, they they you have to think of them just sort of as like an extra companion. Right, right. Okay, well, let's move on then. Yeah. Oh, ring the bell. At long last, land ho! Who are you calling a hoe? Yeah. <laughs> Behold, Limsalamensa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Lim Lane, goddess of the navigation. The guy in the background's like, now let me tell you about this yeah. great offer. <laughs> Two girls, one guy, right now. What do you say? <laughs> the background characters and like the sort of like random, the random people that are strewed around. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious what they put in this game. The, the actual translators of this game, like the localization team... Who are very heavily in incorporated into dive, storytelling. In the they put so many fucking references, and you're just, you want to choke them because they're so bad puns. The Love bad puns. Of the sea lies the maritime city state. Of Limsa maritime Limsa. city state? It's like I'm back in Halifax. In Halifax. This is the Final Fantasy version of the Maritime. this haven for bandits and brigands, <laughs> cut It's not far off, birds. actually. Seekers of both freedom and fortune comes a lone adventurer. Got like big rocks holding a lot of this stuff up. It reminds me a little bit of uh, like a port town style of. Has drawn the gaze of the what was the name of the castle? The White Castle Lin -Lin. city in Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh gosh, you're asking the wrong person about that. What realm shaking fate I can't remember, but it's giving me that vibe. Um, mortal's future. White city. Uh, I need to know now. Oh, he's got his smile on. She's happy. She's land ho. Land ho, not on the sea anymore. Holy fuck! <laughs> Cats don't like water. Uh, and here we part ways, lass. Minas Tirith. That's Minas what it was Tirith. Yeah. Right. Oh wow, that that actually that guy that just got off is kind of important. That's actually really funny. Oh really? Yeah. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high roads for me. Here, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for saving me arse earlier. We I didn't do anything, but sure. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Square Enix? <laughs> 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 All right, later, later, Brennan. Through peril and hardship, discovery and the the opening outfit they give the uh, brave the girl characters reminds me of the fucking like outfits they wore at the swallows all. at the um the sea swallows all. <laughs> yeah. Um, reminds me of the outfits that were at the uh, the red stag, which was the um. The bar that um, the Alexander Keith's bar. Oh, okay. Um, they all all t all friggin' uh, quilted mini skirts and like l like leggings up to here and like t-shirts and shit like that. <laughs> all of them had to wear that, which I thought was, which I'm which I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna complain, but it's just kind <laughs> of like weird. Like what what if what if they have a mail server? I guess they really wouldn't. 
No, they don't. Case, they but... don't hire. Like, as someone that's worked in in the service industry as a male, mm -hmm. you you quickly learn that there are places that you're just not ever going to get into if you wanted yeah. to apply for it. I like this new city uh, a little more than the other one. I mean, nothing wrong with the other city, but um... yeah, you started in Ulda originally, mm -hmm. which is a it's a desert city. Yeah, yeah. I'm more. Uh, I, I'm not a big desert guy, so mm -hmm. this uh, is more of my up my alley. I, I mean you, this is my district, and I make my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. <laughs> oh, I'm not scum. <laughs> ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. I'm the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you um, if you ever go to Cor like to Coral, there is a guy named Incredible Hulk, and he is everything you always hope for in a video game. Oh god! He goes around and he smashes you. He goes, All right. <laughs> but please select a control scheme. So because uh, you have a PS4, so... you can actually choose mouse and keyboard, but obviously okay. you're going to be using this. <coughs> now, I'm probably not going to remember all this shit. Yeah. Like I'll... the good thing is, is all this stuff is always in the help menu. Mm -hmm. Display my okay, jump. Yeah. Okay. Interrupt casting. Oh, there's an interrupt button. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Actually, movement always interrupts your spell casting. Okay. So anytime, just say you're casting something and you're like, ah, oh, shit, I'm in an AOE. I need to get out of this. You can just move your control stick and it will cancel oh, your. So casting. you can't move and cast. No. But uh, but Fuck. as a red mage, you're actually able to because you have an ability oh, okay. called dual cast. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, certain abilities are instant though. So, for example, as an arcanist, I believe Bio allows you to cast and run at the same time. Lid hey. Miyasha. Yeah. I gotta go. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. I don't need to. So just hit, um, hit uh, your pad to select it, and then go up to the X. There we go. Yeah. Or you can hit close. Yeah. All right. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city state of Lumen, and you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Yeah. So that's All your right. first quest. I might as well do the first little bit of this. Yeah. Now then, I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register the their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you'll get to your, your throat slit in some piss-stinking alley. <laughs> so before you do anything else, get yourself over to the... Dra <clears throat> the Drowning Wrench, and enroll with the Adventurer's Guild. Wench, not wrench. <laughs> wench, whatever. The Drowning Wrench. <laughs> can I don't wrench know. drown? <laughs> I can't, th this is actually reminding me of more Halifax, because every pub was like, the something something. The yeah. verb noun. Oh, yeah. Like, the the giddy goat. The fickle frog. Like, they're all like that. Oh, man. But the drown and wench. Drown away your sorrows in a cup of ale, eh? Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Badrin. Yeah. Is it Badrin? Badrin, he's the one that has a lot of commas. <laughs> a lot of commas. He's a writer of the wench. He might curse like an ale <laughs> sodden sailor, but the man's got a soft spot for wide eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along. And may navigator guide you on your journey. Yeah. Or until sea swallows all. Alright, so. Okay. Do we do okay. Yeah. So over there, underneath your mini map, it will always list your most current quest. And then obviously you yeah. can you yeah can I remember this. Like I this. remember this from the PC version. Yeah. So if you want to get rid of that initial, like yeah, click and then press X and then go up to the X. Yeah. Or oh, okay. just click away. Hit circle. Um, There's like in the beginning, you're gonna be on. Like, you're gonna be flooded with these things, and I I do say to pay attention to them because they will sort of help you along the way. Trying to find where they are. There he is, right there. See, oh, okay. see, he's got the little thing above his he head. He doesn't have the exclamation point, but that's okay. Yeah, but because you're in the middle of a quest, <laughs> it's going to be different. It see how the it's sort of like a little wave. That means you're advancing in this part of the quest. So yeah, he wants you to take the crow's lift. The crow's lift. It's just a fancy. It's just a fancy elevator. An elevator with a name. Oh, okay, this looks familiar. Yeah. Let's see. All right, complete quest by speaking with the NPC. Okay. All right, so he's behind you, I believe. Is he behind you? Yeah, there he is. Badrin. All right, let's see what kind of voice I give. 
You can be Badrin. You can well, figure I have this to out. Because I'm gonna have to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you can figure this shit out. Unless they fuck, he fixed his dialogue. Greetings to your loss. What'll it be? Ah, but you ain't here for a drink, are you? You've come with a mind to to, to try <laughs> here and uh, veteran, I reckon. Well, you'll find no shortage of work, Elizabeth. And Limsa. I might be a little drunk. <laughs> I might be sampling me and, uh, and this most opposable of a post. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit. Drown and wrench. He just, wrench. I don't think he knows what the beginning of words are. He's like also, <laughs> he's also on the Adventures Guild there and Lim <clears throat> Limsa. That's why we've got the desk, especially for our land and guild business, and why I seem to spend more time saving necks of whelps like yourself and wet and throw at some irregulars. Yeah. Adventurers have a knack for finding trouble, you see. Not that they need it in these parts on account of old there being trouble. Where you look. Oh, I guess I should give him more of a noof. Like, be like, <laughs> if you manage to steer clear of the, fr of the fish backs and the kobolds outside, kobolds, yeah, kobolds, kobolds yeah. outside the city, the pirates in the inside will get you instead. So stay where you're at till I come where you are. Where you are. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, he's a friggin' noofie. Just never, never leave. And me if you bar. don't manage, there's always the Galleon Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows the plan, of course, but the plan in anything is you'd be sure to kill a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, if they're planning anything, it's probably to kill us. Hey, this, hey, this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again, you'll see people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. T to T. And who can blame him after everything has happened? Our have taken mighty blow during the calamity, but our homes weren't the only things what got wiped off the face of existence by thrice damned bastards of a dragon. Yeah, Bahamut. Bahamut is considered the calamity. It, it took our bleeding memories, too, and no one's been able to explain it in a, uh, in a way that makes uh, ounce of sense. <laughs> ounce of sense. An ounce of sense. None of the folks saw it live to tell the tale and agreed how the tale actually goes. It's all foggy, like recollections of an hard night on the ale. <laughs> <laughs> you can come to imagine why people might fear uh, fear for the future if they can't rightly recall the past. But there's one thing we all remember, and that's a group of venturers who laid down in, the <clears throat> in their lives to drag a Rosa back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Yeah. She cuts well. She cuts well. <laughs> She's like, that jib cuts well, well, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though, ain't we forgotten what they did for us? This goddamn calamity spawned memory loss robbed us of their names. I won't even let us picture their damn faces till they start the like, gulf flying in front of the sun. All you see in your mind is a shadow against the blinding glare. And that's how everybody describes the way you give or take the old gulf. How much talking does he do? <laughs> is this what you got people calling the uh, er, uh, the heroes, the war warriors of light? Yeah. Of light. He, he says warriors, warriors of light. light because warriors of, light. of his accent. If he's ever going to put the time of darkness behind, it's going to need ventures to help banish the fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day we'll be one of them, and that's why we aid to give ventures the effort we'll spend. What do you say, Lass? You willing to lend us your strength? Okay. Literally like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> get, all, get used to your character going, yeah, okay. Even when you're just like, can I not? <laughs> it's like, can you go get some pies? No, Alphanod, I don't want to go get you fucking pies. <laughs> are, are you having like a Vietnam flashback right now? <laughs> okay, there's going to be a part in your level 30s, and I, I, I hate to say it, but you're going to have to make soup. You're going to have to make soup, and you're going to have to go, and you're going to have to talk to some goblins, and you're going to have to go into a dungeon to steal some cheese. Can't just go to the fucking supermarket and no, get some cheese. No, no, it's got to be goblin cheese. And and the Illuminati, which is apparently a section of the goblins, they want the cheese recipe for themselves, so you've got to save it before the goblins take it. It's very important that you have this cheese, and you need it to summon Titan. Very important. I promise you this. You'll be so happy by the end of it. Wow. 
Put the scroll. scroll right there. Yeah. Scroll your name. In the parchment. The story is actually really, really good. Like, a Realm Reborn story is... It can be is... Ashes, is it? Yeah. And a fine name it is. One of my favorites, if you start in Gridania, which is the forest, the forest city, uh, she actually says, Oh, this is your name? Is this... Uh, okay. Is this really your real name? <laughs> The captain reported being attacked by pirate vessel, and several eyewitnesses have testified identifying that a passenger mass in her, your description, went out on the deck mere moments before the incident took place, sending your friend's signals, weren't you? Now hold on just a moment there, officer. You got the wrong lass. This fine upstanding young lady's my dear departed grandma's sister's <laughs> niece's cousin's closest <laughs> companion. The last one we caught dead. Uh, Randomizing such an unsavory element. Yeah, fraternizing. Is that right? <laughs> She's surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Aye, you make a good point there, officer. Very good point. Very wise. You needn't worry, though. I keep an eye open all times. Me and two more often than not. Now, sir, what do you say we tankered oh, me finest <laughs> ale before you return for your duties, eh? <laughs> yeah, just give it that. Just give it that. You'll see A in this game a lot. Yeah. They they definitely like the A. Not that. Not a wasted, watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't you got the finest idea what you're on about, officer? <laughs> the wenches might offer some, uh, uh, <clears throat> some of the cheapest, uh, cheapest grog on the side of straight of Marathor. Yes, straight Marathor. 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 But they don't mean I won't get you good and peckled. <laughs> <laughs> and look, there's even a chair for there just crying out to be saddened. <laughs> so kick them off at the Mavi boots, eh? Yeah. Fucking this guy's can this guy <laughs> is a fucking Newfoundlander. <laughs> yeah. He is. The Limpsons, their dialect is amazing. And He's I really a hope they I really hope they expand on the on the Limpson, the Vilbran lore, because I'd love to hear these voice acted. Because it'd just be amazing. You'll have an excuse to e to eager bloody yellow jackets. They've been spayed though kid uh, kidnap and seeing and uh, seeing they got a clue what's behind them. Naturally, they've taken a clap and irons on anyone who <laughs> looks vaguely suspicious. <laughs> clap and irons. Yeah, clapping them in irons. Which means yeah. venturers, visitors, and pretty much every uh, bugger else in this town. <laughs> <laughs> One buck for town. Don't take it personal, though. Us uh, Lamonsians? Lamincians. Lamincians can be a headstrong bunch of ba bastards. Tis true, but given time, we'll grow on you. <laughs> now, where was I? Now, where was I? Yeah. Oh, right, I was making you a part oh, of the hey, Welcome to Lim, uh, Limelomensia? Lim Limsa Lamensa. Lim Limsa Lamensa. Where the sea's green and the face of me patrons after a few too many Blackberry whiskeys. Blackberry whiskey is an item in this game. Now take a moment to gather your wits and we'll start with the learning you and the ways over the city. The, you, fucking love the, you love his gib. You just love fucking that. love it. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. All right. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Boom. 50 experience points. Wow. This is the introductory game tutorial. You have taken your first <clears throat> steps in adventure in the city of... Lin You've taken your first steps into a larger world. Yes, you have. It's all the wisdom of... Uh, Ranger... Ten, ten fingers? Yeah. Oh, Badron ten fingers. And then go forward and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Um, Alright, so that was, the f that was the intro quest. Ah, okay, I see how this is going to be a little... This is similar to the way it worked on the on the 360 controller. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, We've been going for about an hour. Um, I think I could probably start doing the story quests. Yep. In my main playthrough, this is gonna this is gonna be a longer video, guys, because this is I wanted to do a little introduction because this is going to be a thing that I'm probably going to stream a lot, mm -hmm. um, with or without audio. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do every single one with uh with audio, but I probably will. Um, I don't usually do quiet streams, but 
I think in the start, there's probably going to be a lot of me just streaming right from the PS4. And then as time goes on, once I've got like a layout and everything, I'll get that figured out. So I'm going to be posting them to YouTube. But I'm probably going to be streaming on Twitch going forward. Because streaming to YouTube is fine. But I feel like I need to start building up an audience on Twitch. So, mm. so this... This is a long video, I know, but this will be in basically about, like, the size of what a stream would be. Maybe, like, even half or a quarter, quarter yeah, of the size. Yeah, well, you'd probably go for about be. an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. I'd probably go for, like, a couple of hours when I do yeah. a stream. But, I like, that's why I'm going to keep this condensed as one video so that everybody can see. Oh, you're, gonna, see. you're not going to split it I'm not going to split this up. This is going to be All one right. video so that people get used to this format because that's essentially what I'm going to do. I'm going to, like, the streams aren't going to be cut up videos. Mm. Like, even when I post them to my YouTube channel, because I'm planning to, when I stream, also put it on YouTube. Yeah. That it's just going to be the full stream. That's the way I've done it with my current streams, but I'm just changing it up to using Yeah, what, what I've ended up thinking of doing is, because there's a lot of, like, idle time in streaming, because obviously you're live, so you may need to get up and get something, and there's a lot of just sort of standing around. I was thinking of doing a highlight type of thing with my streams. Yeah. Is... Like, I would take the VOD of that day, and then I reduce it down to 10 to 15 minutes of just, like, the highlights yeah. of things that we did. Yeah, I may do that, too. Um, yeah. I'm just not very good at highlight editing. I'm not very good at that, so I'll see what I decide to do. But having this as one video is fine to me, because, like, if you're going to be watching me stream anyways, you're going to be getting, a f like, hours mm -hmm. of stuff. So I just want to give you guys a taste of where I'm going with this, and... Um, if you like what you see, follow me on Twitch. It'll be twitch.tv slash Zero Master LP. Mm -hmm. not, hard, not hard to find. No. Not hard to and find. And since you're plugging you, you could also watch my streams at, yes. at twitch.tv slash Canadian Jutsu. Is it Canadian Jutsu? Just, Just straight Canadian Jutsu. Canadian okay. Jutsu. Cause, and you do, you also do like with your main, with your mains, you still, do you do like raids and stuff? Yeah, still, I, I still do my raids, my raids on my main mm -hmm. quite a lot. And I usually, what I like to do is I, I do my weekly clears of things, okay. you know? So if you want to see like him play like like a like a like end it's yeah end character. end game stuff like end game stuff he'll be doing that but yeah. I'm this is just gonna be my journey yeah. in this game so, yeah like our goal our goal with Clay was a to get him to red mage so he can be a red mage like he's always wanted and <laughs> and then done. we have to get him to Evilise so that means we need to get him to level seventy in Road Stormblood and we gotta take him along with Ramza Beowulf. Rabin Aster and into Evilise. I don't know half of what you just said, but okay. But you want to you want to go to Evilise, don't you? you yeah, wanna, I do. You want to return to Evilise? I do. Well, then we're gonna we're gonna get you there. And then we'll there'll be grids, and then I can be, then I can use Farfist, right? No, Farfist has is not Far, a it's, it's, it's not, not a monk move. You have <laughs> Howling Fist, which is pretty much Farfist. It's not Farfist though. No, it's not Farfist. <laughs> Actually, it's the one thing that it's so weird. All the melee class in this game, they have a projectile thing. Like dragoons, they can throw their spear. Mm -hmm. uh, ninjas, they can throw ninja daggers and stuff like that. Monks, they don't have one. They have gap closers, which a lot they of people don't. They even have air render, which was like their oh no, they have they have they call it riddle of earth now or oh, riddle okay. of air, of wind, riddle of wind, riddle of earth, and riddle of fire. Air render and farfist are like the two best things for a in Final Fantasy Tactics to give a um that class i yeah. can't remember it now but remember it's like it. though it takes a lot of inspiration from like tactics and all that this is a completely different game than those the this, idea is that they i can see how that'd be broken rotations. though because if you could yeah. use like farfish to like crit an enemy from like across the screen then that would be pretty broken yeah though. but anyways guys thanks for watching um i'll see you on twitch and if, or you can just watch the rebroadcasts mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So, and you know where to find. You know where to find Kanei Jutsu. Jutsu. I'm here. And he's probably going to be playing with me as well. So. Oh yeah, I'm going to be leveling my own, my own character mm -hmm. along the way. So I may end up streaming, streaming us playing, or me by myself leveling my character because yeah. I've actually wanted a character on the Primal Data Center for quite a while. Mm. And knowing that you guys are now on that Data Center, yeah. it gives me a reason to go over there and create a character. Exactly. Yeah. So thanks for watching this long video, um, and hopefully you liked what you saw and you'll come watch me stream. Yeah. Um, also, if you have, if you guys are playing on Ultros or you're gonna create a character on Ultros, let's let us know, and we'll we'll add you to our friends list and just, stuff just like come, that. Just come, just come, just come on this journey with us. Yeah. Even maybe, though maybe at the end we can make a free company, it'll be like the maybe. Zero Master Free Company.
Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, we could have a little we have a little stream company going stream on. Stream company? Yeah. Stream company. A stream I like company. That. Yeah. All right. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. All right. Take care, guys. Stay frosty. <laughs>